Hello everyone, my name is Greg and I dev stuff. Welcome to episode 32 of Action RPG Game in Unity. First let's fix an overlook I made in last few episodes. If you start the game, hold mouse button to run and then lift it off while hovering over the UI elements, it will not register that you stopped pressing the left mouse button, and your character will continuously run towards the pointer. Open the player character input. And in the hold command process, check for is over UI element. And inside left mouse button input handle, we will move left mouse button hold method, which maintains the left mouse button hold status before is over UI element check. This solution is brought to you by viewers reporting issues to me in the comments. Let me know if you find more of them. I'm happy to help and fix them over the course of the tutorial. Long time ago we have implemented the interactable object, and at the time the only object we were interacting required a reference to the inventory to function, and this coupling of interact system with inventory is unnecessary and very limiting. Instead we will store the reference to the character as an interactor, the character who interact with this interactable object. This will allow a better flexibility when you are working with interactable objects. With these changes we need to update the interact handler to pass the reference to the character, instead of the character inventory. Let's go through all the types of interactable objects in the game to fix issues. Item check interact is simple. Just change the type of the parameter. But in the pick up interactable object we have to interact with the inventory, and because all of our characters will have an inventory, we can simply get the component from the same object which has this character component. Let's introduce safety exit gate, in case you will be interacting with an object with the character without inventory. One of the examples can be something like an loot goblin trying to pick up items. Continue fixing the issue. Now it is the transition component. Let's test this. Good. The dropped object from the chest starts point on the essential scene, which makes them persist between scenes. Simplest solution will be to make a parent a simplest solution will be to parent the spawned object to the chest from which it got spawned. So we will pass the object which spawns this item as a parameter.
Let's test this. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. You will get cool perks like being featured like those cool people you can see right now on your screen or access to project files on Patreon. Apply the changes to the player character prefab and let's clear our root folder. Let's introduce a rudimental audio system into our game. Create an empty object called audio system. Attach it to the main camera and nullify its position. We are doing this because the camera is our audio listener. Create audio system component. Create an audio source on the scene. We will be using this object to play audio for us using our audio system. Inside audio system, make a main audio source reference so we can reference our audio source on the scene which is going to play our clip we are going to pass as a parameter in a new method called play. Inside newly created method we will assign the audio clip which we want to play and call play. Reference the audio source in the editor. And now we should be able to easily use this audio system. Let's select the button and use on click event. Add the audio system play. Let's import the clip we are going to be playing and it will be just a jingle which will be played every time when you press a button. I have this ding sound. You can download it in the description below or find any audio clip you want to use online. By referencing audio clip like this, it will play the sound when you click the button. So anytime you want to play a sound, just simply reference the audio system and call play. Good, this is it for this episode. Special thank you to Straight Shell Zoo. With best regards, see you in the next episode.